Good morning, private practice success community. Gerda Mala here, clinical psychologist in private practice success, business coach and mentor. And I'm here today in Brisbane City at the Pacific, Pacific Hotel. And today I'm gonna be spending in the Parklands room on level 10 where I will be presenting my one day private practice success workshop. Hey Amanda, how's things in, in the Gold Coast? I'm here on level 10, there is my banner for people arriving and just look at that view. Look at that green park, it's a lovely park um, down there, it's the Royal, I think it's like somewhere in the Royal Gardens or something, not exactly sure. So people walk through here and we have like consistent views coming in. Look, it's like you're going to a wedding almost, right? Where you're gonna walk, 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 walk. And then I should show you what I can see. For those not here, there's our registration table. Uh, Amanda says, have a great workshop today. Thank you, Amanda. Here's our registration table for private practice success. And there's the lovely Abby still putting on the final touches, um, probably of the presentation. What are you doing there? <laughs> yes, we have got everything ready to rock and roll. I've got my uh, PowerPoint working. Uh, there's something wrong with their colors on their thingamajigaroos, right? Because that's not the colors that my presentation is, but we will roll with it. We will roll with it. So it's a huge, huge room that we have today. Lots of natural lighting because if I ask people to come and spend a whole day with me, I do love to have lots of lots of natural lighting. We've got all our tables set up. Maybe what I'll do is Give you a bit of a view of our tables yes there's some special surprises we like to do special surprises don't we abby yeah. <laughs> special surprises on all the tables it's like christmas in here right but that's how to roll hey grace how are you i've just sent you your boxer back and oh the views from here is even more spectacular where we have our little coffee station so as people are making their coffee over here they're gonna have this awesome awesome view how cool is that now of course i don't think they're coming today for the view right <laughs> the view is just a plus today i'm going to be spending the next couple of hours from 10 to 4 potentially a bit longer because I tend to stay on until everybody's questions has been answered, right? So what we're gonna do today is really uh, come together as a group of private practice owners that work in the trenches of private practice every day, right? I always say that unless you've been in the trenches of private practice, you cannot comment on it. You do not know what you're talking about, right? Because it's really, really tough, but it's so, so rewarding. And if you have been doing it for more than a year and you're still with us as a practice owner, in, in other words, you haven't given up, <laughs> you haven't decided I'm closing the doors because it's too hard, then you have that passion for being in private practice, right? Uh, because that is what keeps us going. That is what allows us to break through brick walls to get stuff done. And I have come to find that private practice owners are some of the most creative and resilient human beings that I have ever met. So it's such a privilege for me to spend a whole day with them really you know sharing with them some of my challenges that i've had what i've learned from it and the strategies that i still use today in my private practice called the site professionals so we basically what we do is we look at the five levels of private practice development that most practices go through we then also look at the seven secrets of private practice success so we really cover on a range of topics including marketing uh, networking, looking after your most loyal referrers, uh, and creating long-term referrals from strategic relationships. We look at team, a lot of stuff related to team. Um, thank you for all the love hearts, Amanda. We look at knowing your numbers, right? And then so importantly, we, we talk about the profitable private practice mindset. 
And then we also look at dynamic diary management and the ultimate customer service at your practice. So we really cover a lot of topics. And I guess it's why, to some extent, I call this my introductory workshop. People of, often think, oh, well, if I've been in private practice for six months or more, you know, I don't need to do an introductory level workshop but we cover so much stuff, right? And even if you've been in private practice for 20 years, if you come to this day, you will still walk away with oh, pages and pages of notes and actionable content that you can start to implement in your private practice straight away. And that's not me saying it, this is people that have been in private practice like double the amount of time saying that to me once they've attended, right? Um, and of course, at the masterclass, which is a two-day workshop, we go even deeper into all of this. I'm recording you, Abby. What are you up to there on I'm the whiteboard? So what what, what I'm pictures? On the whiteboard. Oh, okay. Abby is being very proactive as per usual. I must say, I'm so spoiled to have Abby. That's all I can say, right? Like, I remember a time in running private practice success that the day before an event like this, it would be 10 p.m., 11 p.m. at night, and I would still be prepping, preparing, printing attendance registers and all of that type of stuff. And I don't have to do any of that anymore. Who's the lovely Abby? <laughs> so yesterday, what did my, my day look like yesterday? I actually went for a massage at 2.30. Then I had my hair washed and blow dried because you know you get oil in your hair if you get a massage. Uh, that was at four o'clock. Then I went and got some takeaways from grilled for the family. And then I went home, had dinner, just had to decide what I'm wearing today. And that was it. Because Abby took care of everything. And no, you can't have her. She's mine. <laughs> so, so grateful for all her, her help. <laughs> You don't like the spotlight on you. I'm going to put the spotlight on you lots and lots, Abby. Anyhow, I'm going to love and leave you because I would like to have a last coffee before my people arrive. Because once they arrive, I, I feel like, you know, I want to talk to them. I don't want to sit and have coffee by my own sim. I want to talk to the people in the room and start building relationships, start getting to know them. So um, I'm going to have a lovely espresso coffee now from our coffee station as I enjoy the beautiful view. Now, remember, if you have not been to a one-day workshop, there's one more in person to go. That is in Melbourne on Friday, the 10th of May. Um, thank you, Natalie. Appreciate it. Um, I am still tossing up doing a one-day in, wait for it, drum roll, Perth, Western Australia. Um, I'm like 90% sure I'm going to do it. I will let you know if that happens. But uh, uh, if you have been to the one day, you will know how amazing it is. Now, remember also, guys, we do have the Get It Done Retreat open for registration at the moment. If you sign up between now and next week, Wednesday, which is the 10th of April, you will be signing up and enrolling into one of the most amazing programs that I offer, the Get It Done Retreat at 2018 rates, okay? I'm actually crazy for doing that, but you know what? I've just been too busy to update it. And, you know, uh, I never do early bird rates. So I thought, let's, let's consider that the early bird rate for my people. So if you sign up between now and next week, Wednesday, Wednesday's the last date, you get in at 2018 rates. After that, it will go up significantly. All right, so I will ask Abby to pop in a link to get it done for everybody in here. And yes, I'm gonna go do my thing. You have a fabulous, fabulous Friday as well as an amazing weekend. I will speak to you again soon. And remember, as always, all you need to do is say yes to your very own ultimate level five private practice. I'll speak to you again soon. Bye.